Hello everyone. Today onwards, we have started a new platform for learning and this is e-learning on YouTube for physics. My name is Kaushal Pratap Singh and uh, firstly we are going to cover our class 12 syllabus, our second PUC syllabus. In the second PUC syllabus, the whole thing is totally based on electricity and magnetism. In the first, we are going to cover electricity. If we are going to cover electricity, we are learning first chapter is electrostatics. This will have so many subtopics. And then we are going to cover current electricity. After covering these two chapters, we are going into the next thing that is magnetism. In the magnetism, first we learn about magnetic field. Then we learn about the forces on the moving charge, why I am saying moving charge, we will discuss later. And the moving charge, forces on moving charge due to the magnetic fields. And the third one is earth magnetism. Earth magnetism, it's a beautiful thing found in the earth where so many phenomena are based on earth magnetism. We learn in a depth deeply about earth magnetism. After learning magnetism, we learn about the combination of electricity and magnetism. Faraday, a scientist who tries to combine, who tries to find the concept when electricity is related with magnetism and magnetism is related with the electricity, surely he was thinking and that's why he was find a great thing, the combination of these two electricity and magnetism and we call it electromagnetic induction so we learn about EMI after that we learn about the application of this EMI and that is called alternating current a scientist that is called the name is Tesla he was a man behind the electricity of all our home appliances so we use these fans, mobile phones, televisions, all the electrical appliances, uh, alternating current is generated. That's why we are transmit a long distance electricity. So we learn about EMI and AC. After learning this EMI and AC, we are going in a more deeper way. We are going in a more deeper way. And a scientist name is called Maxwell, who give the light, or we say optics, Phenomena of light that was totally based on electricity and magnetism. Maxwell gave his famous four equations. These four equations are deeply related and deeply related with the electricity and magnetism. So, after learning optics, we are going further atoms, nuclei in the modern physics, where we learned so many good things and we found how does the electricity and magnetism is also related here. And after that, we are coming on to the 20th century where uh, so many good things are coming and in a cheaper way and we are using a devices that is called semiconductor. Due to this semiconductor, a new era of all the instrument is created. So we learn about semiconductor. So all these things we have discussed, these are the syllabus, entire syllabus of class 12. Our second PUC after this, after this syllabus, ending the syllabus, all these syllabuses we cover, but parallelly we uncover so many good things, those are found in nature. But apart from this, electricity and magnetism have so many good applications in the nature because we know we can't see without electricity and magnetism. I am saying optics is totally based on electricity and magnetism. All the forces you are find in the nature is totally based in any way are we say they have the basic concept of electricity and magnetism, of friction force. When you find a friction force, you can you never think this is a concept of or this is generated due to the electricity and magnetism. When two surfaces are rubbed together, then atoms have some electrons and 
nucleus containing protons, this proton can attract the electrons of other surfaces. Electrons, so protons of one atom or we say other surfaces, proton is attracted the electrons of the other surfaces due to this, this friction force is generated. So friction force, ultimately we are, I am saying, friction force is also a generation or generated due to the phenomena of electricity and magnetism. We can think due to the electricity and magnetism. Because when I am teaching to you, when I am teaching to you, at that time I am thinking and electrical signals are going in our mind. So this phenomena is also totally based on electricity and magnetism. Our heartbeat is also depends on the causes of electricity and magnetism. So many devices are made, are made up due to the phenomena of these electricity and magnetism. A pacemaker, a device that help the persons those have a those have a, not a good condition of hearts, the pacemaker device is used. That is also based on the phenomena of electricity and magnetism. So we are not, we are not totally, or we say, in other words, we are, are saying, we are totally bound with electricity and magnetism. We are never far apart from electricity and magnetism. Everywhere, you are seeing electricity and magnetism. This whole world is totally fulfilled by the phenomena of electricity and magnetism. That's why we are going to learn about electricity and magnetism. So you must ready to watch our videos on regular interval. So we have first started the we have first started the chapter 1 that is called electrostatics. Okay, thank you.